are you? I'm, I'm fine. You, you're good, yeah? Yes, I am. Oh, you're surprised to see me. Uh, huh? I... What? You're surprised to see me, huh? Yes, because you're supposed to be passing out today. Oh, well, I couldn't um, wait to see you. I had to rush off as soon as the ceremony was over. I see you still have this funny habit of having books all over the place. Old habits, yeah. Never dies, huh? Mind you, you just read this some hours ago, okay? Not be a one ever. How you been? <laughs> One more. Yeah, what? Well, why are you still acting more surprised? Yeah, it's because you should have waited it tomorrow. Oh, well, I'm here now. Mm -hmm. You didn't make something. I'm hungry. Did you make something? <laughs> I'm hungry. Did you make something? I did. I did. What did you make? You want me to have you first or have the food? Which one? I think we. we, we. You should, I should have you. Yes, because you we need to celebrate this. <laughs> You're crazy. Give me something to eat, Daddy. I'm hungry. I'm happy for you, sweet. Congratulations. Thank you. Good morning, dear. Mm. You're awake. Yes. You're all dressed up. Where are you going? Yes, I'm going to see my supervisor to submit the leave for my project. So you mm. can be able to travel with it tomorrow. Go ahead, darling. Just um, give me a few minutes. Let me go into the bathroom and. No, 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 no. Don't worry. Why? Come on, man. let me go with you. You need to rest. Besides, I'll be dropping by at the market to get some stuff to cook when I'll be back. Alright. Just wait, let me brush and, and walk you to the gate. I said no. I don't want those hosted girls to start coming in here when I'm away to ask for one pepper and salt and fair water. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> Life is too early. <laughs> it's okay, baby. Um, you have a great day, yeah? Hello, Terish. Oh, Terish, where are you now? You know how this professor behaves. If he leaves the office now, we won't see him again till next week. Okay, hurry. Just hurry. I'm waiting.
proper deal out of that place. Okay. <laughs> Hello? Ah, I am so sorry, I forgot. Okay, okay, stop Can complaining, I'll be there soon. Love you too. Bye. Um, I, I have to go now. I have to rock somewhere. Please go and get my bag and my shoes. Eh? Gina. My girl will finish your hair. Why not stay and finish up this hair now? Ah, Betty, please now, understand now. Ah, Betty. Gina, you know I don't like your girls touching my hair. Eh? <laughs> Okay, I know. I'm sorry. I won't be long. Hmm? Okay. Yeah. Just go. I'll wait for you. It's okay. You said. Ah, Betty. Yeah, you owe me. Hurry up. You know now. Yeah. I do. Okay, I owe you. Where are you coming from? From the market. Yeah. And what? I'm sorry. And you're sorry? I'm sorry. Cherish, have you looked at the time? You told me three hours, Cherish. Okay, I was just gone for three hours. No, you were not gone for three hours. I didn't sort my intelligence. You were gone for the whole day. You know how I get being in this house alone without you. I miss you. I'm sorry. I, I saw your calls and things, bro. Sorry. You should have at least called me. Should have at least call me a message or something. And then you left me in this house without food. You know how I get your food. Let me. Please. Please. Don't do that next time I beg you, please. Okay. You win. But I'm here now. It's okay, darling. You should just go make something and we'll do it. It's okay. Smile for me. Don't tell me to smile when I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> what are you making? Yeah. What? Make, make oh, you don't know. You want to take off your clothes first? <laughs> so yeah. I can help you in the kitchen? No. So just like I, can offer, I know I'm hungry right now. I don't have that much energy, but I could help in that regard. I know, baby. If you don't want me. <laughs> what? Hmm? How, how do you want it? You really want my house in the kitchen? Of course you want it. So you want to make this way? I don't know, no, this is where I go to the cooking now. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm right. coming. Run off. Just wanted surprising you. Not see you. Ah ah. Come come come. Turn around. Let me see you. <laughs> hey. Ha. Hey, hey. Cherish. So how are you in high school? School is fine. Just wanted up my projects. Ha. Huh? So that means you and I will be staying for a very long time. Yes. But well, we were going back to school to sort some things out. You know I'm preparing for service. I just have to prepare. Service already? Yes. So. No Ooh. time. No time. <laughs> Okay, okay. Yeah, I want to serve and I know. Let's get my own Oh, sis. Are you still on this? Yeah. Yeah, the electronics were very dusty. To your revenge it. Oh. So that is why you are turning the whole furniture upside down. <sighs> I just have to give the room a perfect look. Okay. I don't want to look for anything new. No. Not at all, you won't. Well, I'm off to the salon. I hope you will come around. Sure, I am. I'm coming. Good. Oh. Aren't you eating anything? Eat? With this weight? I don't feel like eating anything. Make sure you come around because you are accompanying me somewhere, okay? It's all right. I'll see you when I come.
Hey, sweet, how are you? Good morning, Mother. Yeah, good morning, baby. Um, sweetheart, can I call you back? I'm, I'm a bit busy and um, I have a few things to catch up with. Is everything okay? Yes, everything is fine. I'll talk to you later, okay? Shoo? I said, I'm not. I said, you day one place. Fwen. You day one place. Eh, Joe? I, I leave my follow the guy. Jump, 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 jump. Quack! Four for ground. Me, I leave my mo. Upon that four where for step, I beat him. Me, I beat him. Shoo? I ain't take that nonsense. So, I beat him where? No. <laughs> I said that nonsense for where we come from. Be like, say, yeah, they're under a leg. Which kind of matter be that? Why is 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 that? No, tell me why I'm not going to beat that. It's okay, not a year old. Where? Have you finished washing the rollers and the basin that I asked you to wash this morning? Madam, eh, now they do before. Madam, Sheriff school. Say, okay, where? How many times have I warned you to finish everything you have to do in the morning before you start your useless gossip? How many times? Plenty times. I'm sorry, it's exactly my fault. I asked her some questions. That was why. It's not your fault. You see this girl? You see this Kewe? Kewe cannot last one second without, um, Madam, they fall from heaven. Madam, right, enter here. Madam, please that pass. Kewe! Madam, no vex. She did laugh. <laughs> no vex for yourself. Make sure you finish everything I asked you this morning before customer starts coming in. What is wrong with you? I could do one. Get out! Cherry, you shouldn't mind having I'm going out today. It's alright. Do you want to join me? I need to be here. I want to catch some food. <laughs> this girl, <laughs> let her go and do her work, please. It's all right. Leave! Alright, stay here. Don't be long. Alright, take care. Thank you. <laughs> Me? Yes, please. Sorry, the pretty lady with you? Is she your friend? My younger sister. Oh. Is there a problem? No, no, not at all. Well, I'm Engineer Ben Johnson. I must confess, your sister is very pretty. Uh, thank you. Well, I think I like her. And I would love to have her around sometimes. Okay, that is not a problem at all. Maybe a call or something. That'll be fantastic. Here's my card. She can call me anytime. Okay, Thank so you, I have to go now. Thank you so much. Sorry, excuse me. What's your name, please? Gina. Oh, pretty name for a pretty lady like you. Thank you. Thank you, dear. So, All right, take bye. Care. That's by Cherish. Cherish? Oh, sorry. What did you say? Oh, I'm sorry. You are worried. I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you. What is wrong with you? No, no, I'm, I'm okay. I'm fine. You've been looking at that phone, punching it for God knows how long. And you're telling me there's nothing wrong with you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Young woman, stop telling me you're sorry. You've been here the whole evening. I've been talking to myself. Okay. Uh, Cherry. Okay. It's Max. I haven't heard from him since. I, I called him in the morning and he said he was washing off somewhere. And since then, his number has not been reachable. Are you serious? I don't know. I, I don't know what's wrong. I don't know, I don't know if, if he's okay. I, don't, I just don't know anything. Is that why you're worried? No. Is that why you're worried? Yes, yes. 
<laughs> so you're here worrying over a man that is not even married to you. Not even a commitment. Okay. They said practice makes perfect. So probably you're practicing on how to worry over your husband. Hmm? Come on, why are you talking like this? Max is my boyfriend. I love Max so much. And we both plan getting married after my youth service. So, tell me why. Why shouldn't I get worried? I mean, why shouldn't I get worried about Sorry, him? sorry, oh. Maybe he has a flat battery. That is why you have not been able to reach him all evening. Yeah. Yes, I think so. He will call you. I'm sure he will call you when, you know, before he goes to bed or before you go to sleep. Huh? I'm not fine. You you got me worried. Sorry, what did you say? Oh okay, okay. Okay. Love you too. Okay. Be good. Maybe I'm happy you're starting work tomorrow. Oh yeah. No, sorry, I didn't tell you I started today. Oh really? You know, I walked in then that you wanted my services ASAP, so I got to it. I'm sorry I didn't call to tell you. Alright, I wanted to surprise you with that news again. That's so nice. I'm so happy. <laughs> Everything is just gradually falling into place. I don't know, I'm, I'm so proud of you. I am. <laughs> I am. And do you know what? You have been a blessing to me. You have been my lucky charm. And your patience and belief in me has been outstanding. I just want you to know. And I'll treasure you for the rest of my life. Because I love you so very much. Thank you. I always love you too. Always. All right, so let's um. To us. Yeah. And a new job. Cheers. Cheers, baby. Soon enough. Mm, going by what the dean said, I'm optimistic our names will be shortly set for the next batch. Amen. Oh. <laughs> I can't wait to have this feeling of being a copper. As in, 
cruising on my NYC uniform every passing day. You know, I don't talk government speaking. <laughs> that allow way of it. Ah, my God, we can't talk. <laughs> That's just what I'm concerned about. No. And even Max wants to serve in Lagos. Yeah. Really? Yes. How does he intend to go about it? He said he's got a friend who will help him arrange it because he doesn't want me to be posted to this insurgent thing. Yeah, that's true. This everyday bombing, kidnapping Kidding, and dying, killing of students, coppers and innocent citizens. I'm telling you. Huh. Cool. I really can't wait to just get My to Lagos dear, and serve here. The current state of insecurity in this nation worries me a lot. Enough. If I'm posted to any of these northern I will not go. God forbid. <laughs> it's alright anyway. Yeah. Yeah, hello? Good evening. Who am I speaking with, please? <clears throat> Gina, the girl at the mall last week. The mall? With my little pretty sister, the one that caught your fancy. Oh, I remember now. How are you? Forgive me, please. And how's my angel? Mm, well, that's why I called. Okay. So what's the good news? Mm, it's not something we can talk about the phone. Can I see now? Right now? Mm, yes, is that a bad time? No, no, not really. Just that I'm home. And can we make it tomorrow? Mm, well, it's okay. I understand. Maybe some other time. No, no, it's fine. I was just thinking like, because you're a lady, so it's kind of late for you. I drive. Oh really? That's fantastic. So drive on to Bisola Close, Lakey. Cool. Hello? Are you there? Hello? Let you in. 
What? What do I offer you? Nothing. I'm fine. Sure? Yeah. Okay. So since you're here, how is my angel? He's fine. Well, I tried talking to her like I promised before she left back to school. But she is in a very serious relationship and she's getting married soon. What? You know these little girls, their first love at first sight, things like that. Uh, yeah. So that means I'm going to stay a lonely man forever. No. Not when you have people like me to take care of you. Listen, a man like you needs someone like me to take care of you. No, don't worry. I'll be fine. I'm sorry, I... No, I, I just thought I'd get a drink. Uh, no, baby. Alone? I'm alone. Oh, come on, baby. Oh. I, I'm sorry, okay? I'm, I, I just went out to get a drink. Baby, I'm sorry. Can't you just... Believe me for once. Hello? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please. Uh, hello? 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 Uh, not again, not again, not again, not again. Should I just hide my phone? Not you. Darling. Darling. Darling, please. Let me love you. I want to take care of you. Please, get dressed. It's morning. I need to go out. Like he's leaving you. But he's not taking my calls. I've explained everything to him. I've begged him. <laughs> oh. Hello? Hello? Max again. It's Max again. I went out last night to get a drink. When I came back, I saw his missed calls and that of other callers. Now he wouldn't listen to my explanations, nor take my calls. I begged him enough. I don't know how to say. I don't know.
Thanks a lot. Thanks. Everything will be okay. You just need to give me a bit of time. Outside. Gossiping no. instead of you to come and tidy up the plate before the customer starts coming in. Now, shut up and listen to me. Any day this your gossip will drive this your mouth to any of my customers, and I get to hear of it. Huh. And why are you still standing there looking like a moron? Come on, go to the other and get to work. Okay, it's morning. Have yourself to blame for it. Make sure. Yeah. The case of socialism. Making money, more money. Okay, labor unionism, Nigeria versus England. Yeah. Babes, your phone. Oh my God. Why are you smiling? My perfect coral. Sorry, I saw your missed calls. I'll talk to you later. I'm at work. What a title. My perfect coral. <laughs> I told you. Is someone jealous here? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Not when I have my Prince Charming coming to take me out for dinner. Oh, are we going for a dinner? No, I didn't say we. I said me, please. Oh, please don't be stingy. Because I am happy. Three is a crowd, please. Welcome, ma. Hey, John. Is your guy in? Yes, he just came back. Okay, open the gate. He's expecting me. He didn't expect you. That's what I just said. Open the gates. How many times I have told you not to open the gate for those strangers until I tell you to do so? Son, she said you are a student, that's why I opened it. You are very stupid. And you, what are you doing here? Are you okay? I am not okay. You keep disturbing my line and you keep coming here uninvited. It is not acceptable. Just leave. Don't let me lose it on you. I said leave. Please. Leave! Done! Open the gate for her! I said leave! Okay. Please. Yeah, you're here? Alright, I'm standing outside. There's, um, there's a little bar, it looks like a sit-out. I'll talk to the... Outside. I'm standing outside. 
You keep walking out, you should spot me any moment from now. Yes, just keep walking. Aha, that's you. I see you. You see? Okay, good. Wow, how are you? Fine, I'm cool. Hope you stop been waiting for long. No, 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 it's okay. Uh, what, what, what's going on? All right, uh, the boss sent me on his behalf. I'm uh, apologizing for not being here with you when I want to discuss this with you. Oh, okay. Yes. Something else came up, so he has to rush to Ghana this afternoon. Uh, but he asked me to give you this. All right. Open it. Nice, bro. I hear you're the new marketing director of Marcom Services. What are you talking about? Ah. Congratulations, bro. Ah! <laughs> I told you. <laughs> oh my goodness. What can I say? I've only been with you guys less than a year now and I'm... Uh, that's a result of hard work. Oh boy. <laughs> I won't, I won't get on the phone and see if I can catch Once again, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, oh, it's okay. We can, I, we, can, we can drive out together. I packed just one. Now that couple left this phone, it's not looking like a jungler. We need to put this one to speak for that. Stop funny. Yeah. <laughs> Horrible nightmare. Oh my god. You better don't let him catch you or else. Me. God forbid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Quarter to 8 p.m. <sighs> I need to get going. Why? Uh, I'm traveling tomorrow. Are you still traveling? Yes. Babes. Oh. I'm broke. I don't even have full stuffs. So I need this journey. They come stay with me. At least I still have some. We can always manage. Thank you. I need this journey more than you can ever think of. I know you're going to miss me. Don't worry. I'll be back next week. Mm? It's okay. It's obvious I can't change your mind. <laughs> you can't, so you my dear. Don't worry. I'll pass your message. Mm? Okay. Come, come see me off. I know it's you. Um, I am. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Please, I'm too busy for this. I don't have time for this. Um, okay, sorry, sorry. I mean, I'm sorry for my sure desperation to, to, to prove my love for you. I'm willing to. Listen. Um, if it's convenient for you. Whatever you want. Did you get that? Huh? Thank you. Thank you. Alright. Thank you. Hello? Hello? Ah! Ben, I know you don't love me, but thanks for the time. 
whatever it is, any way which I have wronged you, I'm really sorry. Just that I didn't know how else to express myself and my feelings. I guess I let my emotions play a fast one on me. I'm sorry. I love you and... It's okay. I'm sorry. I've been too harsh on you. Especially lashing out on you last time. That wasn't me. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I just wanted to know that I'm here for you. It's okay. I'm here for you too. I just don't know how to make it up to you. Tomorrow is Sunday. Mm -hmm. And we can go swimming. Really? Okay. Swimming it is. <gasps> Thank you. Finally, I'm done with school. A new chapter of my life begins. As I plunge my way into the labor market, hmm, I get settled with my feelings. The love of my life, Max. I have told you girls to stop gossiping and concentrate on what you are doing. You've spoiled a customer's hair. And listen to me, for your information, I'm going to throw you guys out of my salon and replace you with new ones before you stretch my customers on your account. I see, because what go in, truth to God, don't be our fault, or not the customer, the customer, hey, girl, shut up! And you, I will start with you. You mean I'm a beg? No, verse. No, beg now! No, verse. Get out! Hey, get out! No, verse. No, verse. No, Come and see, Sherry. Come here! <laughs> Is that how you're greeting me? Come and greet your sister! <laughs> Cherish! Woo! You look nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> Meet Max, my fiance, and Max, my beloved sister, China. Ah, hello! <laughs> nice to meet you, handsome. Pleasure is all mine, beautiful. Um, <clears throat> a taxi is outside waiting. I need to go drop the thing to the house. I'll oh, right that's fine. <laughs> um, Max will be here with you. Okay. Alright. Um, Well, um, sorry, <laughs> sorry, just... Oh, thank you, thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Wow. You see the guy? See how the bobo fresh? Okay. And the show is just so lucky to have such a tall young guy. Who will get settled with a lady? Sometimes the way they talk, they do me the ass if they find story. See, if I need to get that correct purple, I'm not trying I'm going to introduce and give Madame Ade Chris. Hmm. I'm a rough player. Uh -uh. Madame Talk Talk. I didn't hear you say that to me. Please count me out. Please count me out. See they talk. So if people talk to their gay boyfriend, you open your mouth talk. That your short uh, boyfriend where they drag eyes, they hmm. compete out with Martina Bottle. Take your time. Home. What do you do, handsome? Oh, well, me. I, um, I work with a production outfit here in town. Malcolm Services. I don't know. Have you heard of them? 
Oh, the multinational company. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> that means you are rolling in millions. <laughs> <laughs> well, not exactly. I just want to um, sometime this year. But um, you know what they say. Tomorrow is pregnant, so we're looking at a brighter future there. Yeah, it's okay. Oh. You're charming. Oh, thank you, but you're beautiful yourself. I mean, you know, having such a massive salad in the middle of town, mm. like this, something I like. <laughs> thank you. I know you're teasing me, but it's okay. It's all right. I'm not teasing. Believe me, I like what I see here. Um, oh, she is here. <laughs> yeah. Um, I hope you two got along very well. Oh no, your sister is an entertainer. You know, she she, she got me laughing really, really hard. No way, Max. <laughs> I am boring. He's the man. <laughs> I, I trust my sister. I let that rest. So, oh, how did it go? Yeah. We need to go now. Shall we? So I guess I see you again some um, other time. Sure. <laughs> Alright then. Take okay. care, yeah? Yeah. I'll see you soon. Okay. comes with its own challenges. You know, with a position like this, being the marketing director for Malcolm Services it requires that I have to be on top of my game. At all times, being in control in terms of decision making as I relate to clients that we have to deal with. I'm also flexible enough to take um, suggestions from wonderful colleagues like you that I work with. And at the end of the day, I believe I'll be grand. So yeah, pretty much it's been good. I see. You see, Max, um, this company is trying to tap into a young market and need someone who resonates customers' choice products and that who can equally think out of the box. And I think uh, that's why the boss chose you for the job. And um, we, your friends and colleagues, know you that you will never disappoint. Thank you. Uh, you are really capable of doing this job. Ah, thank so, you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much for the vote of confidence. I yeah. really, really appreciate it. Thank you. But by the way, Steve, have you um have you had lunch? Uh, no, no, not yet. Okay. All right, good. So let me um let me just um respond to this. So how about uh, we um, step out together? Oh sure, sure. So I'll just stop by your office on my way, and then you can tell Paul to um prep himself up just in case he wants to come with us. All right, all right. Prep himself. All right, I'll do just that. Thank you very much. the face. I'm coming. Mm. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Max just called and said he has put reservations at Hilton for a special dinner. Wow. <sighs> that sounds great. <laughs> so what did he say the occasion is for? Please, I'm coming. Just one minute. Um, 
yes. I know what you're thinking, that's what I'm thinking as well. But he didn't really say he didn't really say anything, but I have a feeling he's going to ask the question. That question. That question? <laughs> Yes, yes, I pray he does. Yes, he will. Definitely he will. He will. <gasps> Let me just finish up this. Baby, I'm sorry about last night dinner. I'm so sorry. You're sorry? Yeah, sorry, you still haven't told me the truth. Who was that guy? Just a guy I met in my year one at the admission office. According to him, then he just graduated, so he he decided to help me through my admission. And since then, I haven't seen him, not even a call, not until last night. Baby, please, I'm sorry. Oh, really? Oh, well, there was more to what I saw the other night. It didn't look to me like the both of you were friends in in that context. So is there something you're not telling me? Baby, I'm serious. There's nothing. I, I'm serious. There's nothing. It was just that night alone. I've, I haven't seen him. Oh, really? You don't know him just that night, yet the both of you have pet names for each other. He calls you preacher. You, you call him handsome. He said his name is handsome, that he prefers calling me pretty. Yes, pretty. Baby, I'm sorry. Please, I'm sorry. He prefers calling me pretty. I see. Let this be the last time, Cherish. You embarrass me like that in public. Okay. Okay. I, I promise you, it will never happen again. I promise you, please. It will never happen again. Right, well, you can go in. I'll call you when I get home. In. So, what did he have to say about the idea? Mm, he accepted, like he said. He knows Copper's lodge always jump back, so he asks I get accommodation outside. It's okay. At least he understands. He says. Thank you very much. What would I have done without you? <laughs> I just want to say thank you. It's all right. So I think you should go to sleep now so you can wake up early. Before he gets here, you know? He too has to go to work. Yeah. I will. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Hello. Oh. Wow, you look nice. Thank you. Come here, let me see you. Let me look at you very well. Confession. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> um, is he here yet? Yeah. No, 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 he's not here yet. Okay. Oh, wait. Um. Take. My man asks I should give you this. Three thousand error. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's okay. Thank you very much. No problem. Please, yeah, anything thank you very much. No problem. Huh? My home. Okay. I'll see you. Bye. 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 So I will need you to um, update me on happenings in school. All right, how you're faring and all. I need to know, especially the issue with um, your accommodation. I need to know how that um, goes in terms of sorting out your accommodation. All right. All right? All right. Great. Okay. Hello, Tessie. I'm fine. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So you call me, right? Oh, it's all right. That's my girl. <laughs> all right, dear. See you soon. <clears throat> Tessie, Tessie. Oh, Tessie. Whose check is this? Oh, my sister's boyfriend gave it to me. Excuse me? Excuse me? My sister's what? My sister's boyfriend gave it to me. Yeah. 
I see, and then it has your name on it. Um, my sister gave me this morning that it's for my boyfriend. Really? Yes. All right. So now you go around collecting money. This is not Right? No, 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 no. no. Why are you saying anything like that? Why am I saying what? What? I don't even You're know. Tell me that I don't know what I'm talking about. No, no. You're to I, I, I don't even know this guy. I've never seen him before. I don't even know if he's a man or a guy. I don't. Oh, know. oh really? You don't know him yet. He wrote a check in your name. You haven't seen him, right? All right. Okay. And then he wrote you a check. Oh, okay, please, please, please. Let me just give the check. Okay, just hold it. I don't need it. You just hold it, please. Yes, I'm out. tired of this fight. Yes, this get out. Baby, please. I am tired. I'm Charity. tired. Get out. That's a fact. Get the things. You have to wait. I am tired. Let me say this one more time. I'll push you out of the sky. Get out. Baby. Get out. Uh, please help me. saw her with a check, a sum of 20,000, and then she claimed that um, it was given to her by your man, who went then through you to give to her to go to school, to add to her upkeep. Are you sure? No way. My man didn't give her that check. Besides, why should I give her a check for such an amount? I don't get it myself. Why would she lie to me? Thanks. Thanks, Adam. It's okay. Lifestyle. Well, she doesn't strike to me for that kind of a person. With her beautiful and innocent looks. Man, looks could be deceptive, you know. Mm.
Sorry, I'm losing my mind. Oh, come on, stop saying that. Tessie Max is killing me. For the past two weeks, he hasn't been making my calls. I had to travel to Lagos to see him. I was told he's no more there, that he has moved to nowhere. Oh my god, I, I, you don't know his whereabouts right now? I, I, I don't know. I didn't do it. I didn't sleep with any man for money. I didn't, I didn't do it, trust me. I didn't do it. Stop saying that. I know you better. I know you didn't do it. But why didn't your sister just call him and tell him the truth? She said she did that and he promised to call. But since then, he hasn't called. He hasn't been taking my calls. I don't even know where I am. It's just frustrating. Please, please. Ah. See, calm down. Don't worry. I know one thing for sure. Call you. Just give him a little time. He'll miss you and come running looking for you. But now, I've sacrificed a lot. A lot in this relationship. I can't even afford to lose him now. Not now. You don't understand. Not now. Church. I don't know why you have this feeling. Just calm down. Uh uh. I'm trying, I'm trying. Calm down. I'm glad you came anyways. I'm sure somebody have been lifted up. At all. I was just uh, thinking. I just felt, uh, you know, a bit uh, concerned. Or should I say, um, a bit insecure, <laughs> like some people put it. Jealousy. Wow. <laughs> Lover boy is jealous. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm jealous because I've decided to protect my <laughs> That's what Lover boy is doing. They protect. And I can tell when I see a potential lover boy. So tell me what exactly. What I see. <laughs> what I see. Ladies, hi, Sherry. Welcome, it's all right. It's my sister around. No, just sitting here. Yeah, you're sitting here. 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 You're sitting Max and I have nothing. He's just my sister's fiancé. What else do you want me to tell you? What? Lately, this guy has been calling you like seven times a day. 
Is that how much he calls his girlfriend? Your sister? Oh, don't answer. So, you're the judge. And you're trying to decide the fate of their relationship. Ben, please, just stop. You're trying to make issues when there's none here. I hope I'm wrong. That's your phone. I hope he's the one calling you. Take your call. Oh, now you don't want to take your call. Ben, just stop this madness. Let me ask you, what is wrong with somebody calling another to check on the person? What is wrong with that? I just hope you know what you're doing. Ben, Ben, darling, Ben. She's not taking her calls. Uh, maybe she did drive now. Been on a talk say who did drive, making no answer call. You're supposed to know that one now. She did drive. Hello, baby. I'm fine. Yeah, I just arrived. I just arrived Lagos now. Are you home? Alright. I'm coming. I'll be on my way now. Okay. I think there is school. You'll be on your way. Me and you know, say the person where you talk to just now, no be your son. Care where? Care where? Care where? This is your English. I've told you. I will teach you good. That's how you is and do so you don't disgrace me. I'll see. Remember that hairstyle you're supposed to make me. I'll come back. Auntie, share your face. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. Well, I'm now who got time for this one, I bet. You and I don't live under the same roof and then sometimes I don't even get all the kind of attention that I need to get from you as my woman. And I just get jealous. I, I hate the fact that I scream sometimes at you. But I think it's just the feelings that I have buzzing in me. And also, you see, that's why I... That's why I get hard on you sometimes. But, Billy, I... I don't think hard should be the right word. I guess for you, you easily lose your temper on me. Do I? I'm sorry, I... I didn't realize I took it that far. I'm sorry, but you won't blame me. And I'm, I'm just being protective. I'm, I'm protecting my investment. I mean, I put a lot into this relationship and trust me, I don't want to see it go south. I hope you understand. I know, I know, I know, but sometimes you're being overprotective. I mean, over... <laughs> all right, fine. Protective, overprotective, it's one and the same, all right? I'm a jealous man. I'm into my woman. I love her. I don't want to lose her. Now, does that make me the devil? You see what I'm saying? Well, what are you saying? You see what I'm saying? What are you saying? Probably because you look like your mom. Uh, <laughs> you didn't suck her breast. So I was jealous. Okay, fine. What about you? At least I'm better off than you. I mean, you have this huge web of men around you and they're constantly clustering around you and you think uh, I should just sit back and do nothing about it. Oh. Right? And then to think that you've been living your life like that since you were a child. I mean, Gina told me that when you guys were kids, I mean, you had a lot of male friends. Why, though? Isn't it? Really? Oh, now you're stuttering. No, no, no. I actually told you that. Uh. <laughs> oh, thank you, Gina's husband. Gina's husband, is that what you forgot to say? Yes, yes. Really? Yes. That I'm attacking some uh, no. tiny, tiny boys no, 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 around no. you, trying no, to no, take no. my woman from me? No, no, no. You, you I, think I, I should don't... just. No. Calm down and, and take it lying mm -hmm. low. That's what uh, I'm saying. And then you're accusing me of being jealous and overprotective. No, no. You think I shouldn't? Sis. Young lady. You're back. What did you tell Max about me? Max? I didn't tell him anything. Okay, hold on. Don't tell me you guys had a fight again. So please stop acting like you're ignorant of what I'm saying. Now tell me what you told Bakias about me. Hey, relax, chill. Okay, I told him to be careful, but you have many men around. Why? Why would you tell my man that? Were you hiding something? How dare you? How dare you talk to me like that? 
You think I will keep carrying you in a relationship hand and foot that was never meant to be? A relationship that you fight, quarrel every single day? Please. Are you better? No, tell me, are you one inch better? You don't even have a boyfriend left to say a few years at your age, yet you think you have the morality to talk about my relationship, hmm? You are one blind, stupid, ignorant fool. Look at you. You can't even smell above your nose. You can't. I see. Now I know where this is coming from. Why you set me up with the check? I actually think you can break us up, but never, because the last time I checked, we've gone so far, so, so far that you can't even dare it. And if you think you've got eyes on my man and want to break us up so that you can have it to yourself, then I will teach you the disadvantage of having a younger sister. How dare you? How dare you talk to me like that? Now you listen to me. As long as you remain under my roof, you will respect me. And I will leave your house for good. Leave! You can leave! And let me tell you, as long as you live under my roof, you will respect me! And I don't want to see you anywhere near my salute or my house! If I see you, I will deal with you! Say anything! Bobbish! like it here, yeah? No, let me show you how I like it. How do you like it? Mm, Babes, stop doing this to yourself. Tessie, I'm scared. I've lived my entire life loving and breathing for him. I know, but it's not as if he told you it's over. I know, but I know he will soon. Look, he didn't even call for my graduation every morning. Not a text or a call. It's not like the marks I know. I mean, <laughs> no, no. Maybe he say someone else. Then he's stupid. He doesn't deserve you or your tears. Come on, babes. You're more than this. Stop allowing one childish guy to keep hurting you. I mean, for, for how many years now? Hello? Hello, sweetheart. Really, really sorry that I couldn't uh, call you back yesterday. Something, something came up. Okay, okay. I'm just wondering if you can come so we can talk. And maybe I... Might as well tell you what happened yesterday. Okay, okay. Um, let me go in and freshen up, okay? All right then. See you in a bit. I'll try it soon. Bye-bye. Um, Tessie. I'll be back. Where do you think you're going to? Oh yeah, I, I had my hands full yesterday. It was a really busy day for me. I told myself I would call back, but I just couldn't get around to doing it. And I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Part of the reason I called you today. I'm sorry too. Because I was so worried. Are you okay? Are you sure? Yes. I called you here for a reason, Cherish. Why are you staring? I can't do this any longer. Today is not a prayer for I stop this, you I am done with this relationship, Cherish. You have to go. 
this wasn't the picture, this relationship is, is not what I envisaged from the start when you and I started. It's not panning out the way I expected to. So I'd rather you and I stop wasting each other's time. Move on. Probably try other partners and see how it works. Cherish, you got me worried. Why weren't you picking your calls? I cannot continue with you. Meaning? He said I cannot marry you. I don't get you. He said I cannot marry you. 
wait, 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 wait. Who said and what happened? I don't marry you. Cherish. Cherish. It's just stop. You're getting me scared. What happened? Tell me. Cherish! Cherish! I cannot marry you, God. And I'll continue. Um, Kate. Good morning. Good morning. How, are you? How are you today? I'm fine. Why did it take you so much time to bring this file? I've been waiting. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it is. Is this uh, Cherish's file? Yes, ma. Um. Okay. Can I have a pen? Yeah. How is she doing? Oh, she's great. The, the drugs we prescribed for her worked really well. She was calm all through the night up to now. I'm happy to hear that. Alright, I need you to add these drugs for her. And start with one daily. Let's see how she does with it. Where is Dr. Chibuzo? Oh, not in yet. Okay. When she comes, I need you to personally hand this file over to her. I want her to take over this case until I come back because I will be traveling for a conference. Okay? Okay. Alright. Congratulations, young lady. You made it today. Well, she's still very traumatized at this early stage. So I'm going to recommend she sees a psychiatrist. Are you sure she's going to be fine, doctor? Well, I'm not a psychiatrist. That is why I brought in a specialist. He is a psychiatrist, so I'm going to be handing over the case to him, and then he's going to handle her from now on. Um, Chibu, Chibu. All right, you see, this is my 15 years in the profession, and we've seen worse cases than this, and it was handled. Um, I'll advise um, she adhere to the prescriptions that we recommended, and she'll be perfectly all right. No! 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 Go! 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 I cannot marry you! Go! Go! Hold on. What's this? A few days ago, Max invited her to his house. An hours later, she came back acting strange. So, I took her to the hospital. And the doctor said she said, not marry you. Go! Go! Keep quiet. The doctor said she's suffering from mental disorder. And he brought her here. Does this place look like a mental home? Does this place look like a mental home to you? But she's your sister. You need to take care of her. Come on, marry you now. Go. Go. Go now. Go. 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 Don't open the gate, it's Madame Honeymoon. I said, Stop don't with you. open the gate. Baby, I'm sorry. Save I... your deceitful and lying tongue. Sorry? Be sorry for yourself. How many times have I asked you? 
What business do you have with your sister's boyfriend? And you keep giving me stories? Well, your game is over. Baby, what are you talking about? John, take this shameless prostitute out of my compound. And I don't want to see her again. And if I see her in this compound, I'm surely going to kill you. Baby, I'm sorry. It's not what you think. I can explain. Please, no. hey! You don't touch me. Asai. Who Asai? Baby! Asai. Don't touch me! Asai. Don't touch me! This is very, very good. I've always known that you're a smart and intelligent girl. And as for your mom, I'm not expecting less. Thanks. Uh -huh. And I've called your auntie. She'll be coming to take you to Lagos for holiday, okay? Hey, what about you? Dina, sorry, I will tell to allow you to go to Lagos with me. Come on, get out of my side if I kick you. Did I hear you say kick her? You good for nothing, girl. All you do in this house is to eat and play. The next time I will catch you playing in this house again, you have yourself to blame. Look at your younger sister. She took force in her class. Cherish, let's go. Nonsense. You are not as smart and intelligent like our parents claim. Look at you. So cold, lowly, crazy. Now, you have a taste of what I suffered many years ago. Go, cool. I will die. I will die. So, you see? Fortune has finally smiled on me. I now have you where I want you. Go, go. I cannot marry you. Go! Go. I will die. Go. 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 You just couldn't let me be. You had to drag me out here. Yes. All right, fine. Now that I'm here, what do you want? I think we should go inside the office. You're crazy. No, no you are crazy. Babe. No. You want to do this mm -hmm. at your workplace? Yes. <laughs> so why don't you just. Hi. Um, I'm looking for Cherish. Is she around? Does this look like her salon? I'm sure you know where to find her, so... wasn't good. 
That wasn't good. It wasn't good. I don't care. Do you care? Not in those words, I tell you. <laughs> all the time, all the time. <laughs> in case you don't care, I'm doing what you're supposed to do for your sister. Meaning? I'm Meaning? taking your sister to the psychiatric home. <laughs> oh, that. Like I care. So you can take her to wherever you want to take her to. It's even better you take her this early. Else, my dad of accident while I'm still here. Go. Hmm? Oh. You're heartless. Go. 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 Apparently suffering a psychological damage, which has led to temporary memory loss, and it will take a long time for her to recover. Oh my God. Oh come on. Percy, don't give up hope on her. Your friend Cherish is a very strong lady. You see, at this point in time, she needs you and other members of the family, especially those she's fond of. You see, what I will advise you to do, just pray to God. She will definitely pull through. Okay, doctor. You're welcome. Um, I will need to attend to other patients, eh? I mean, you have exercised yourself enough for one day. No, I'm okay. Who says you're okay? <laughs> you don't think you should rest? Maybe I should, you know, take you to the bedroom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not night yet. Oh, well, I know it's not night, but um, you should rest. You know what the doctor said? It's um, the rest is good for the baby, and you and I are trying to be careful now, aren't we? Why don't I just take you in? Okay. I want to see a movie. You want to see a movie? No. Okay, then fine. Oh, what leads to the living room then? After you, my love. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Just calm down, calm down, calm down. Calm down. No! I understand, I understand. Oh, I understand. Oh, oh. Yes, 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 that's that's my girl. Oh. That's my girl, that's my girl, that's my She's fast recovering. Okay. Um, see, I would advise you to mind what you say to her hmm? because she might get agitated. Excuse me. Okay, doctor. Thank you very much. Go. I'm not married. Thank you very much, Doctor. Thank God. You see, I'm happy she's all right now. Cherish. I hope you stop by to say hi some other time. I will. Good. Um, Percy. Yes, sir. You know she still suffers from temporary memory loss. I will need you to keep an eye on her. Ensure she stays off stress. Anything that will lead to anxiety. Huh? Provoke her to temper and, I mean, make her nervous. Ensure she stays on all those things. Huh? No problem, Doctor. I'll do just that. Beautiful. Thank you very much. You're welcome. 
So good luck, Cherish. And I hope to see you some other time. Alright, thank you. So, this is our wraps. You stay in this house all day. No, <laughs> my husband and my son are in Amsterdam, where we are now based. We basically kept this place for you so that when you come to town, you have a place to stay. Hmm? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So, enough of these questions and answers. Let me show you the rooms, okay? Let's go. Sweet. How is the deal going? Have you been able to seal it? And when are you coming back? We're missing you. I want to be careful. You know that deal involves a lot of money. Say me well to Frank, eh? Tell him that the baby and I will be in Dubai next holiday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bye. When are you leaving for Amsterdam? As soon as I'm done with the paperwork at the hospital and some other documents. Are you selling the house? No. I'm not, but I'm making plans for you to travel with me in three months' time from now. To stay with you in Amsterdam? Yes. Thank you. What about my sister? Do you remember you have a sister? Of course. I can forget everything, but not my sister. She's my blood. Thank God. What else are you? Hmm, nothing no. I cannot remember anything. But the doctor said with time, I'll remember everything. Yes, with time you remember everything. Ah, Auntie Cherries. Good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. Welcome. I'm Gina's sister. She's my sister. Yeah. I'm looking for her. She can't park on more things. Park? Yes. Uh -uh. Park? To where? She park go Glover. Glover Street. Uh -uh. Glover Street? Yes. Number 13. Glover Street. Glover. Yes. Yes. Please, let me have the address. Park. Yes. Why? Ha. Okay. Glover Street. Eh? Number 13, Glover Street. Glover Street. Did you go? 
Ejibo. 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 Sorry, I just took a walk. You didn't even tell the kids, ma'am. Were you going out? No. Um, looking for me? Yes. I mean, the way you just disappeared. Please, next time, don't do it again. Please. By the time you read this message, I will be on my way to look for my sister. I am sorry, but I deeply appreciate everything you have done for me. I know you are worried about my mental state, but I will be fine. In case we don't meet again before you travel back to Amsterdam, say me well to your husband and son. I will miss you. Cherish. I 
apart from you and Sassy. It's good to have you back. My husband. Yeah, my husband, he traveled. He traveled out of the country. Okay. Let me see you to your room so you can freshen up. It's all right. We'll talk later. We cannot wait for you to come back as soon as you can. What are you doing? I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. You don't expect me to hang around while you babysit me. I hope not. I'm fine.
Me too. Hello, young lady. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I see you are doing better. Nice of you to be taking care of our patient. That's nice of you. Thank you. Anyway, since you'll be leaving here tomorrow, um, I thought it necessary that um, you meet someone. Hello, Cherish. I'm sure you don't recognize me. I'm your secret admirer for the past few years. Well, now I'm married and I'm settled in London with my family. I came into Nigeria last week. That's when I found out about your trial through a daily newspaper. Well, that's when I decided to call my good friends, Dr. Chibuzo and Barrister Mercy. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. That's not all. Don't worry. I have ensured that as soon as you leave here, you will live 
a comfortable and new life. Your friends told me about you relocating to London. Well, in case if you decide to stay in Nigeria, I have a property at Port Harcourt, a bungalow, where you can stay with comfort while three executive jobs are waiting for you. Make a choice. God bless you, sir. I'm grateful, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. I have medical records to prove your sanity. Actually, the psychiatrist in charge confided in me that you're doing perfectly okay. <laughs> Thank you, doctor. I'm very sorry I snapped. No, no, no. It's okay. You'll be fine. <laughs> of course, you'll be fine. Actually, I hope you know you are appearing in court tomorrow. You have to be at your very best. I will, doctor. I will. I will. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. Hello, Ben. Director Masi, longest time. Ah, uh, this is a Nigerian number. When did you get into the country? Please, please, dear. I will answer that question later. I need your help for now. I need a favor. You sounding too serious and also worried. Yes, I am. An innocent girl is about to get a bad judgment. And I want you to step into it. I'll explain everything later. Just say yes. But well, you know I'm in Abuja already for the security meeting with Mr. President. Yeah, I know, dear. You're the only one that can bring her out, I'm very sure. Please, leave the first flight in the morning and you'll meet up. All right, dear. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Oh, this is my friend, Ben. Hmm? Barista Mercy. With this profession, you never can tell what comes up. Hmm? For saving the intimidated and the voiceless, it's my passion. So, Lagos, here I come. Good. My lord, the case involving Mr. Mark and Ms. Jerry Josh, the prosecuting counsel is here. My lord. But the accused has no defending counsel. In that case, this honorable court will proceed in the case. Why the accused may stand without the counsel? My own is that apology, my honor. I am Paris Messi. I just came from Abuja. Had a meeting with the president. I am representing Sherry George. I'm her attorney on pro bono. Silence! Let's proceed with this case. Bring the witness under the oath. Dr. Peter, please come to the witness box. Prosecuting counsel, you can begin. Thank you, Your Honor. Please, sir, do state your name and your occupation for the records. My name is Dr. Brian Peters. I am a psychiatrist. A psychiatrist? Mm. Do you know the accused, Miss Cherry Josh? And do you have any relationship with her? Very well, I do. I know Miss Cherry. She was my patient. Mm. Can you throw more light on her? Um, she was brought to our psychiatric hospital on the 12th of May, 2012 to be precise, suffering from fatal nervous breakdown. You mean mental disorder? Yes. Why? Because going by her impediment and considering her recovering state, it is expected she experienced intuition. Flash of intuition? You mean memory attack that has left a three years old child half dead in the hospital? making the accused a threat and danger to the society. My lord, no further question. Defense counsel, any questions for the doctor? Yes, your honor. 
I have just one question for the doctor, but I would love to cross as a main the psychiatric doctor in charge of the accused case. Doctor Peter, I just saw your reaction a few minutes ago. Could you please tell this honorable court what you mean by flash of intuition in your own medical term? It means that even when a patient is fully recovered and is okay, and peradventure something like betrayal, deep shock, or even death, the patient could collapse for a short while. That is what the term intuition simply means. I see. Your Honor, I am done with the witness. Dr. Peter, you may step down the witness room. Thank you, my lord. Dr. Choma, you may come to the witness room. Christian or a Muslim? Christian. Dr. Choma, yes. do you swear with this holy Bible to tell this honorable court the truth and nothing but the truth? You swear? Yes, I swear. Dr. Choma. My God. Did you by any means read the medical report written by Dr. Peters? Yes, I did. I see. How will you describe the mental condition of the accused when you discharged her from your hospital nine weeks ago? Well, um, when I discharged her from my facility, I certified her mentally stable enough to go home and live a normal life. So, Dr. Choma, you and your medical doctors had her under your watch for 48 good hours. Now, how can you describe that to this honorable court? Her mental condition, if she left your hospital unfit and a threat to the society, or you left her a healthy person capable of doing things on her own? Speaking as a very experienced psychiatrist, that who's been in this profession for over 35 years now, I have gone through the medical records of the accused. She has no mental issues. Neither has she suffered any depression before. What I discovered is that hers is just a clear case of um, what we call brain shock. I see. Now, you want to tell this honorable court that your patient was mentally stable until what you termed brain shock happened to her. Objection, my lord. She's asking a leading question. Objection sustained. My lord, I'm done with the business. Dr. Choma, you may step down. Thank you, Your Honor. This honorable court will adjourn till next week to allow the prosecuting and the defending counsel to come up with more witness. Before the judgment, I rise. God. Can you please tell this honorable court who you are and what the accused may see you? She's my friend. I've known her all my life. So I put it to you that you know everything about her sickness. Yes, my lord. Now I'm ask you, this family in question, how are they related to the accused? Objection, my lord. She's asking a leading question. My lord, I'm just establishing my case. Objection overruled. You can answer my question, please. The mother of the baby is her elder sister, while the father of the baby is her fiancé that broke up with her before she became sick. Interesting. In other words, I take it that she is very much aware of this development before now? No. It was because he broke up with her for no reason that made her lose her mind and landed her in the psychiatric home. Now, Tessie, your name, I guess. Are you saying this because she's your friend? No. I discovered that the elder sister was dating the boyfriend. I went to a salon one day to look for her and I caught them smooshing. 
Interesting. So can you please tell this honorable court what really happened on the day of the incident? I was in my house when she ran in and she was talking out of point. Same situation she was in the day her boyfriend broke up with her. And she was saying some things like, um, go, I can't continue. I won't marry again. She took in. Everything is finished. Thank you. My lord, I rest my case. My lord. Uh, I, I do not have any um, questions for her, my lord. But I have a witness I would like to bring to the stand. Um, the person of Dr. Chibuzo. Person, you may step down, please. Thank you. Dr. Chibuzo, please may you take the stand. Dr. Chibuzo. Yes, my lord. Please correct me if I'm wrong. <clears throat> you are the chief uh, doctor in the hospital where the accused has been taken care of, Cherry's Josh. Very correct, my lord. Good. Now, please, can you tell this honorable court the mental status of the accused, or rather, let me say, a, a, medical, a medical state of the accused when she was being discharged from the hospital? She was very healthy and fit to go home. She was healthy and fit to go home. Yes, my lord. Uh, you did not notice any, you know, any symptoms of um, mental disorder? No, my lord. Actually, I monitored her closely and observed everything. She was perfectly fine to go home. That was why we discharged her. Uh, well, my lord, no further questions. Thank you, doctor. Having listened to the submission of the prosecuting and defense counsel, I carefully examined the facts presented before this court and the accused plead of insanity. Judging from the testimony of Dr. Choma, Dr. Peter, Dr. Chibuza and Tessin, the extreme shock, the hurt, the betrayal can cost a relapse. It is understandable that coming from a sister who abandoned her for three years with, without, without caring for her and to find out that she has a kid with the same very man who ruined our life. It is very shocking and devastating. So this incident was an accident, not intentional. I hereby find this accused mischarished, not guilty as charged. She is hereby discharged and acquitted. But I will still hand her over to Abuja Federal Psychiatric Hospital for close monitoring, evaluation until she fully recovers. I rise. Oh. Not happening to me. Baby, please ah. calm down. We're not certain. This could just be a rumor. Look, at first I would like to listen to you right now, but I know how I'm feeling. Alright, I know how I'm feeling. I don't, I don't feel right. This doesn't feel right at all. You won't understand. I am finished. I know, please. Please just calm down. Hello? Yes, I'm listening. What, 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 what is the situation? I, I'm listening to you. Listen to me, my friend. I don't have the time to stand here and then hear you pick about the bush. What is the situation of things? What is happening? Baby, baby, what did he say? What did he say? 
finished. I am finished. What did I am finished. Um, though the scan results on his brain shows he has brain hemorrhage, that's bleeding in the brain, and he has to be operated on as soon as possible. Or else, I'm sorry. Mr. Why is this happening to me now? Why is this happening to me now? What do I do? Why do I get money for this? How much are we talking about? Um, due to the complication of the surgery, um, we really don't handle such cases here. But he has to be thrown abroad to be handled by experts. Finished. Though the surgery is quite expensive, this is just too much for me to do. What do I do? What do I do? Very soon, the fans will come calling, wanting to possess my property because I use it as a loan. As a collateral for loans for, for business, it didn't work, and now I have to fight very hard to, to save my son. Huh. Please, just calm down. Stop telling me to calm down, Doctor. You don't know the half of it. You don't know what I'm going through. How? Where do I raise millions to save my son from the touch of him? Where? I don't have a job. The banks will come calling very soon. We are not asking you for this money. We're only seeking your approval. Approval? What are you talking about? As a matter of fact, 1.3 million euro is already deposited for your son's suffering. Yes. How? How did you By who? By one um, cherish, Josh. No. No. No, that is unacceptable, right? That is the same woman that put my son on that bed. That is the same woman that has made my son lifeless. And you think I'm going to accept that kind of offer? Mr. Max, please. I think that lady means no harm. You're overreacting. Please just calm down. She means no harm. She means well for your son. Please just, just give your son a chance to live again. Don't allow your pride to overcloud your, 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 your sense of judgment. Please, Mr. Max. Please. You need to give your son a chance to live again. Doctor, you don't know my story. Mr. Max, please. You don't know my story. Oh. Oh, sure. I definitely would. Yes. Shut as time possible. Thank you too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You too. Gina? Gina! I'm hurry! What is it? I don't understand what is going on. I just got on the phone with the bank manager. He just called me to, to appreciate me for having paid 70% of the debts that I owe the bank. Do you remember the loan that I took for that business that went under? He just called me to tell me that um, 
you just confirmed that I paid 70% of that loan and I should try in the shortest time possible to pay off the other 30% so it doesn't attract extra charges. I don't get this. Did you? Did I what? I've been in this house with you. Have I done any other business apart from that one that went on there? What would I have been able to use the kind of money it's not me? Hi, sister. I sincerely apologize for the dramatic disaster my arrived to cost your family. Yes, you did me wrong. Lied to Mr. Ben that would have married me. Took over my fiance and abandoned me to die when I lost my mind. You married my man without remorse, but my intentions were never to hurt your son. The shock disoriented my brain but that is in the past having heard of your husband's misfortune in business and how the bank intends to confiscate the collateral properties I have decided to settle 70% of the loan which I'm sure the bank would have briefed you I also paid for your son brain surgery Gina as father will always say Family comes first, after God, right? So whatever happens, I want your life back on track. And don't forget, I still love and respect you as my sister. Cherish, Josh. Thank <laughs> you. 